Bible Academy down there. But this is, this is home. I moved back home. I grew up, yeah, I grew up in on the east side of the river here and uh, played basketball over East Lawrence, and yes. so I just moved back home. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? We're ready. Okay. Uh, well, that's good. See, you see, you're able to come back home and yes, uh, right. run the school right in the, in the, in the right. area. That's wonderful. That's, that's true. What's it like to have uh, a coach like this? Well, Coach Bradley is a credit to both the school and I think to the state because uh, of his leadership qualities with, with young men and uh, young la young ladies and young men because they just respect him. And I, I think having a coach like this adds a lot to the entire school. Um, athletics is such an integral part of the school, but you also see it come out in other areas. He, he stresses the academics. He pushes the kids to study and, and to uh, score as high as they can on SATs and so forth. So it really has a very positive effect. Mm -hmm. uh, from what I understand from the students, uh, what's up? Uh, just, uh, just ignore us over here. OK, OK. Yeah, just, yeah, you just yeah. Me. yeah. OK. Um, from what I understand from the students, too, uh, he also teaches them the bigger picture. Uh, basically on, on life after school. That's true and uh, we, we are really seeing it come together this year. You know this is the fifth year we've been together here and uh, I remember very well the uh, pep rally, last pep rally we had at football. We had five, the five senior boys stand up and, and talk and one of the senior boys, one of the best players said this will probably be my last football game but I know I'll go on in life and do something special and uh, I think he teaches them that, the bigger picture. And now having a coach like that around, does that make your job any easier as it, headmaster? It certainly does. It makes my job easier because I can certainly call on him. If I have a small discipline problem or if I see a problem come with a, with a student, I can certainly go to Coach Bradley and say, hey, Coach, how about talking to this kid? And he'll do it, and uh, it makes a big difference. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can you get that again? I bumped into this camera. You did? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, again, having a coach like that does it make your job easier as headmaster? Oh, it certainly does. Uh, I know that uh, just if I have problems with a child, I'll send him down to the gym and uh, let him talk to Coach Bradley. Coach Bradley will talk to them. I'll say, hey, Coach, talk to this kid. He's had a little problem in geometry. He's having a problem in English, and he'll certainly take him aside or her aside and talk to them. It really makes my job easier not having to worry about the gymnasium or anything going on down there because it's always clean and orderly and the kids know what they're doing once they get down there. You've been around teaching for a while. Have you ever met a person like a Coach Bradley? Well, the Coach Bradley is very unique. Uh, I've met a lot of coaches. I've been in the business for 22 years and he, his methods are very unique and he's a very unique person. I've met uh, a lot of good coaches but none quite like Coach Bradley. He, he uh, inspires and he uh, pulls the best out of the kids, and he really makes them want to achieve, and uh, I think he's one of a kind. That's, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, what was it like around here uh, knowing that this was going to be the season that uh, win number 1,000 was going to happen? What was, what was going through the school the whole thing, going around the school? We, as a group, I guess Coach Bradley himself um, played it down quite a bit. Uh, the 1,000 win was a big thing, I think, for everybody concerned. But I think the pressure was was mounting as the time came around. I, I know he won the 1,000th win. I know the school won the 1,000th win. But I know the kids felt the pressure as, as the time came. Now, I saw the school come together for that because, as you've seen the footage of the uh, videotapes, uh, people had the signs of 1,000, and then we had a wonderful tribute to him in the spring that uh, brought back his uh, old classmates and we brought back some of his players from other schools. We just had a wonderful time. About uh, 600 people came to honor him and that tells you how great a thousand wins is. Wow. Yeah, because from what I understand, uh, there's less than uh, 20 coaches nationally that have won a thousand or more. I think that's right. I think, uh, you know, when you look at uh, not only the basketball, but the football and the other things he's been involved in, baseball. Last year he took our baseball program and, and we had a winning season. Uh, for, and he, he can coach because he can inspire the kids and, and they love to play for him. It's really funny. It's like the game itself is important, but the bigger game that he teaches as far as life and attitudes uh, really is even more important, isn't it? I think that's, that's so because I think Coach Bradley inspires people to, to be better uh, persons. Uh, you know, you, um, I've heard it said you can take a, a good person and, and make a good player out of them. 
and he takes those good people and he makes good players and sometimes he makes great players but they might not be the best basketball players but they become good people once they get out in the world and they they aspire high and they, uh, he's got he got contacts all over the world with people that he taught um, I believe he told our last uh, assembly that he had had over a hundred teams and that's amazing to me that a man can coach that long and uh, still be as active as he is and inspiring the kids like he does. Does he inspire you? Here? Oh yes, I'm yes. I, I remember his Newton County teams. See, I was in high school at East Lawrence High School and we went up to see the Newton County Rams. We were East Lawrence Rams. So, you know, we, we said, boy, we wish we could be like those guys. <laughs> and then, uh, he had the tremendous winning streak there, home winning streak, when I was in high school. And um, he went into retirement after going to George Walton for a while and went into retirement and he was coached out five years ago. And uh, I, yes, he, he's an inspiration to a lot of people. That's great. That's great. Uh, anything else you want to add about the coach that I have missed on? Well, Coach Bradley is what he is because of the person beside him. And I know you're going to say something about, coach, uh, about Jan sometime or other, but Jan Bradley is an inspiration in herself. Someone told us when we hired Coach Bradley we're getting two for the price of one. I think we got two and a half for the price of one, and I won't tell you which one is the one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll need to figure that out later, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Anything else? That That's all, I guess. I, I just have enjoyed knowing the Bradleys, and they're wonderful people. They certainly are. Yeah. Great. Well, mm -hmm. I have one question. Okay. Go ahead and take me back a little bit. And then okay. Uh, I took the job in 1989, in spring of 1989, and uh, then in the summer of 1989, uh, we were uh, involved in some changes that were going on in the school and uh, trying to do some renovations. And uh, I got a call and said, please come down. We're going to interview uh, Ron Bradley. And I asked uh, one of my coaches, I said, who is Ron Bradley? And they said, you don't know Ron Bradley? I said, no, I, I don't remember Ron Bradley. They said, he was at George Walton, had a tremendous record there. And then he said, he was at Newton County. I said, oh, now I remember Ron Bradley because uh, when I was in high school, the Newton County had such a tremendous record. And uh, we went to a meeting of uh, probably 10 out of our 12 board members at Dr. J.Y. Jones' house. And Dr. Jones was instrumental in bringing Coach Bradley here. Um, he, We talked to Coach Bradley and uh, we met and negotiated and he came on board about June, July of 1989 and uh, we've seen some real changes. The first change was that we completely renovated the gym uh, that, that first summer. That was one of the things that you know was that he wanted done. He wanted his the gym to be in great shape when he got here. So that was one of the first things. But most folks around here will remember Coach Bradley. In fact, uh, my high school coach, um, when he heard that Coach Bradley was here, picked up the phone, called me, and said, "Hey, I remember him. He plays golf with my brother in Covington, Georgia." <laughs> so, and most people around know Ron Bradley, and we're just glad that we were able to bring him to Dublin, Georgia, to Trinity Christian School. That's great. That's great. All right.